My dad, 53 meters, asked me, 19F, if I ever wanted to have sex with him, and confirmed that my brother sexually abused me when I was 6, and he was 15. English is my third language so please excuse any errors. I'm a 19 year old girl living in Spain with my parents. Two days ago I was home alone with my dad, it was his day off, and mom was at work. He started asking me personal questions about my love and sex life I was a little surprised, but decided he was just wanted to know what went on in his daughter's life. I, being pretty open about those things, answered almost all his questions. When did you lose your virginity? Where was it? How many guys have you slept with? Etc. We talked a lot about that, and other things I've actually been feeling a little bad for being so much colder to him than towards my mom due to the things he's been saying and doing lately, like threatening to not help me throughout college. If I don't obey him I mean, he deserves it, but he is my dad, and I love him, and I don't want to have any regrets in the future. So when he told me to go give him a hug I did, and I sat there next to him for a while as we kept talking about things like my younger years and moments of the past and all of a sudden, looking me in the eye he asked me, and have you ever thought about having sex with me? And then my heart dropped to my feet I was horrified, because I didn't know why he'd ever ask that, and if I should be afraid, and as I have had nightmares before in which he was having sex with me that question kind of brought them to the real world. And so I was like no, of course not, why would you think that you're my dad, and he's like well you know, a few years back you insinuated yourself to me me, still in shock, was like what, when, how, and he proceeds to tell me that a few years back we were on vacation, and when we were in the hotel and my mom was sleeping he was watching TV, and I got up and said I'll be right back he thought I was going to bed, but then was surprised when I came back in my underwear which he found very provocative and ever since then he's been wanting to talk to me about it mind you, at the time of this story I was 15. So I told him no, never, I don't even remember that, and he then proceeds to tell me my brother too has done things with me and I'm like, say what? I kinda knew what he was talking about I've had since forever a memory of my brother doing things to me like taking my underwear off and then doing stuff and asking if I liked it with a smirk I knew it was a memory but with the years I decided that it can't be and that it must have been a dream but this confirmed it was not my dad told me that when my brother was 15 and I was 6 my mom told him that he, my brother, did things to me and that my dad told him how that's illegal and scared him pretty bad. At this point I'm like, okay, I know I've been sexually abused by my brother and that I cannot be around my dad in underwear I was not sure if him asking that was to see if I'd be down to sleep with him or just because he was concerned I wanted that and innocent. But the thing was that he had that thought about it for so long. He found me in my underwear years ago provocative and memorable enough to have been thinking about it ever since and wanting to talk to me about that, and only to me, not my mom, so I don't know if I should be worried that my dad wants to sleep with me and this was his way to see if it'd be down, or if I'm just being paranoid because of my nightmares and his misleading way of asking me, I don't want to tell my mom because of what could happen, if it's just me being paranoid, or if she doesn't believe me, I feel so uncomfortable around him, more than before. And I avoid talking to him, I'm uneasy, when I fall asleep, and am so uncomfortable wearing anything that can provoke, towels, underwear, low cut tops, I don't know what to do, or what to think, thoughts. You aren't being paranoid, you are in danger, get out of your house absolutely tell your mother about it if she doesn't take any steps or if you feel she won't tell this to any other adult like your friend's parents this will only escalate ops mother has already failed to act protectively there is no reason to believe she will do so now ops mother was aware of sexual abuse perpetrated by the older brother she did not report to authorities support op as a victim of a crime engage in counseling, or keep Op safe from having to interact with her abuser. This woman is an enabler and is unsafe. I agree that Op is in a very dangerous situation right now, and needs to get out. Do you have a friend, or trusted family member you can go to? Women's shelter? Savings to rent emergency accommodation? Motel? Your current house is unsafe due to your father's presence, possibly the brother's too if he still lives there? 
Do not underestimate them, or believe you will be safe, because they are your family. They have all failed you once already. Good luck. I won't be surprised if there's more to it. Like dad encourage the brother. He is sick up. Tell your mom and stay away from him. What a sick family you have. Get out of there as soon as possible. Both of them are sexual predators. This is just so so wrong. You should absolutely tell your mother about this conversation immediately. This is not okay. I'm so sorry this is happening to you. I'm so sorry. You need to get to safety. Your dad is a pedophile and is grooming you and your brother. There is no world in which anything he said to you is okay. None. No excuse. He's a predator and is seeing if you are up for it after years of subtle grooming and your brother likely preparing the way. You have been abused by your brother Anne. Instead of protecting you, your dad seems to be pleased about it and has also suggesting you and your dad commit incest together. Yav asked for people's thoughts and everyone has, quite rightly, pointed out that your dad's behavior and suggestions are sick and illegal. It must be very frightening to have someone that is supposed to protect you treat you this way. But you must wake up and go to a place of safety as fast as you can. It sounds like you're making excuses for him. Nothing can excuse a father propositioning his own daughter. Nothing. Please leave home. Move. Out. Yes you are not safe. You are not bring paranoid. Lock your door when you sleep if possible. Tell everything to someone reliable. Do you have any other relatives that can help you? Friends? Maybe even move into their house if you can. If you have a bank account, make sure only you can access it and save some money if you need to get away fast. I know it seems too much, but better be prepared than not. Do tell your mom to. If she doesn't believe you, shame's on her, but there is a chance that she will be on your side. Yo, is there anywhere you can go? This is absolutely not okay and not at all normal. I'm a parent and the idea of asking my child if he has ever thought about having sex with me makes me want to vomit till I die. Your family sounds extremely dysfunctional and unsafe. Please protect yourself. You need to get the duck out of there. Tevoya contesta en espayol por creek valse mucho milliseconds sil para reodit. Primero. Sinto much simo todo lo que te ha pasado. Tanto tu padre como tu hermano son escaras asuayo mi sente remu en segura estando all. Segundo. Yo no me apriera en ninguna part de tu familia. En isa quira tu madre. Pork not loke te hizo tu hermano en su momento y no actu. Si teams medias paramantinata teamis mayo intenta recorta contacto y vivir independentement. Y tercero. Contacta associations que te puden ayuda. Yo no tengo mucha informas en sobre ayudas para tu caso concreto. Pero yo no es bonus primeras sicias para contacta o visitas son el 016 y associations de mujeres en tu comunidad. Y si te puden ayuda de estar estupendo. Si no van a saber de dirigir para manager todo esto, a dems de data para o moral y psicologico y guiad con estima, y cuato, apiat enemigos y gente en la calves, te va a resulta todo milliseconds manageable si no te sientes sala, siento much simog te haya pasado todo esto y espero que algo de lo que dicho te serva. Te mando you en abrazo y si necesitas algo en cual que momento puds contactarm cuando queras. No est sala, creek mustras macho mas siguridad sobre los hechoscop. Org no conoces a las personas involucradas en y las piqui sambajadades y detalls de la santo. Dices que no confen y sequira, en su madre. Pork not lo que te hizo tu hermano en su momento y no actu. Mi parecio entenda por el post que fu algo cablo con el padre. Queen tu volugo a nachala con el hermano. Te perisquizo es en action? Dibi ria hey behejo, tenia 15 aos, hira on you en sujito en formation y creek ten a run a conversation si ria en la kesi dejan en claro las cosas es una manera apropiada, suspecho, por tu opinion, crees cla unica manera de proceder es judicial is and o el asunto y meter a la castle you en chico de 15, no estoy de acudo, sin duda, es una de las formas, Pero hey pasis previous que si puden ensaya. Ahora. No conocemos mas detalls. 
Why is posable guest comportamento abusive o se hair repetido and secreto? Locteria otras consecuencias. Pero nulo. Sabemos. Op. Al perisa tampoco. Si rebuno cable con la familia y dependiendo de la reacción evolucí rearmant la vanera pa Crea QNX extracts en redit no es la major persona para de solo. Dest lugo QNX trao no es la major persona para de si nada. Pero yo he dado mi opinión con la informas en con la cunto tras leer el post. En el dice que esta conversas en fu con su padre. Pero con 6 aos cuando pas la madre es el al padre. Y en este caso el hermano no tiene 15 aos. Tiene 28. 15 mira la red at cuando pas. Y si opesi har enterado 13 aos despas por medio de una conversas en con su padre. Dudo. Y pudo equivocar. Dest lugo. Consumimento es e tomas en meditas para tratar el tema. Como terapia para el. As me can see Jody no can en la madre es e de brizo. Si ella decida para ir sin su madre es dependo. Pero mis consejos no es e hans en trado en ezo pork sabiendo que en el pasado no es e trat es tema correctamente no me hace can en clovera hacer en el present. En in momento he hablado. De judicial is el preciso en i meter en la crucella nadie pork primero es un adeses en diop. Mis recursos han sido de apariorela. Es lo que mi peri son a prioridad. Why no de castigo el resto? Why segundo en in momento el adice nada de denunciar a la polica? As me can see jo harido por otras de rotaras. Sin en contra una familia podra panerla en peligro. Yeah. This is very weird. I've seen female family members in underwear and door naked, and never thought that they were hitting on me. I never assumed that they wanted to sleep with me. Please talk to your mum. Honestly torn. First reading through your post, I immediately thought the extremist that has exhibiting incestuous slash predatory behavior, and that you should get out of there immediately. Second read through, I could understand the fear and doubt you have that he was asking out of worry, as your brother has done things to you, and he might think that might have affected you. I know has your dad, and you love him. But if you feel something's not right, it's not right. I think that you should trust your gut. Think about if has ever done alarming things, such as suggestively looking at you, touching inappropriately, made comments, or if you have ever felt uncomfortable about his body language and demeanor when he asked you if you wanted to have sex with him, and questions about your sex life, did he look concerned, hopeful, nervous, it's possible that it's a misunderstanding, but that seems quite unlikely with how you're describing it, it's also alarming how he would threaten to not help you with college by not obeying him, as Yaud mentioned earlier in your post, please don't think you're overthinking this because you're not, Yaud already dealt with some serious trauma as a kid because of your brother, please consider speaking to your mom or someone else close to you about this, because it's serious and you shouldn't have to deal with it on your own. Just know that all that's happened and is happening is in no way your fault or an indicator of who you are. Your dreams are to some extent memory. I've been through this. Move out somewhere safe as quick as you can and avoid contact with him slash them. The success of that first step he took to talk to you about it after years of wanting to could accelerate your father's fantasy. He might act on more things and push more boundaries. My father did. Get out. You need to go to the police and report both your brother and your father to prevent them from raping you again or anyone else. Lama Alabama 016Y explica to Caso. Intenta guad aprubas de lo ha pasado. Habla con tu madre. Profesorzo cool queer adulto puda reyadat. Teens mas familias te pudan How? How? In the love of God. Does a father think this way about his own daughter? Duck in hell. I have two teen daughters and this makes me wretch. Those are your babies FFS. I can't imagine what you're going through. Cause this disturbs me. Jesus Christ your family is sick. And you have clearly been conditioned to think it's okay given you're defending your rapist brother and groomer father. Get out. Cut all contact. And get some freaking therapy to realize why this is all sorts of ducked up. Hey this is really sad story. I'm so sorry your brother abused you. 
I definitely think your father wants to sleep with you unfortunately. What kind of man says seeing his daughter in underwear is provocative? He was trying to see if you were open to it. And why did he bring up what your brother did? Was he implying that you have a history of doing something with family members? So you might be interested in him. Your father is disgusting. I think you should tell your mom. And in the meantime, get a job. Save up and move out as soon as possible. Up. Please listen to what the comments are saying. You are in danger. Please at least stay with a friend or close family member that you can trust for at least a few days. You should take the time to consider all your options in a safe place first. I'm very concerned for you. And I'm telling you this because I care about your well-being. I was also abused by my family. And I understand that you love them. They are people you hold dear. And they are the life that you know currently. You grew up with them. And you got to see all sorts of sides of them. You'll see their merits. And try to forgive their flaws. But please do not excuse them when they are doing the wrong thing. Did not give yourself excuses for them either. You were sexually abused. And your father's behavior towards you is wrong. It is deeply concerning in even the manner he approached you. He asked you if you wanted to have sex with him. He had a talk with your brother about his behavior. So he knows this is wrong. He can't directly force you. You're 19 after all. The best way to go about it is to gauge where you're at. And to see how you respond. I understand this. Would be very confronting to hear all process. But that is what the general intent of such a question would be. It appears he's trying to see if he could coerce you. He sounds similar to a relative of mine. Came into my room one night while everyone was busy and asked me very personal questions as well. She, yes, she was gauging me and approached me in a way that made it seem like this was normal for her to talk about. She didn't seem concerned at all for asking. It made me think I was overreacting. She told me to take my clothes off. Gave me stupid excuses and trying to act as if she wanted to see how I was developing out of concern for my health. And she did the same. I was about 13. So I guess she was more braver because I was younger and had no idea about anything. She left my room after what felt like a long time. As if nothing ever happened. As if nothing wrong happened. Be very weary when people act like that. Even if it just starts off as conversation. If your gut tells you something is wrong, you would not post this if it didn't. Trust it. This is one of the more later occurrences. The ones from when I was younger are harder for me to really remember properly. Be weary when people, even if it is your dad that acts this way, as gathered above, I had and still have memory gaps. They are more like bubbles, somehow sunk into a deep dark part of my mind. I know they are there, and if I really concentrate I can see bits and pieces. At some points, on the rare occasion, all the bubbles rise up, and I feel everything. I shut down and I'm engulfed in a million emotions and yet, all I hear is me screaming in my head. Just because memories reside in a place you don't go to anymore, does not mean they don't have adverse effects. Please seek help, and please do what you can to ensure your safety. You're your own person, so I don't know the extent for you, but I can definitely say it's surprising. How much more aware a person becomes once they see a professional that can help them process everything. I didn't realize what was going on for me for a long time. Above all, no one wants to get to that point. That is the biggest thing. It's scary, but leaving is the best option. I left home when I was 16. I had no idea what I was going to do. I didn't have money. My mum was incredibly controlling, so I never learned how to deal with or manage anything. I hated myself. I was so scared. But I knew at the point I had to take it. I had to leave. I stumbled in life a lot. And I struggled in every aspect. Education. Finances. Emotions. Self esteem. Etc. I had no hopes for the future. But I'm a lot older now. And I can honestly say I'm more than happy I left. I got to discover myself. I have a stable job. A family that loves me. People that genuinely have my best interest at heart, and I go to one of the best universities in my country. I'm blessed. I know I wouldn't have many of these things had I stayed. TBH. I don't know if I would be here if I stayed. I fully understand it's difficult to leave, and you don't want to hurt your family. You don't want to imagine 
being apart from them completely, the family members that understand and love you will come to you eventually, with the right help and support. Things will be okay. This was a very lengthy unedited post, and I doubt anyone would read it but op. Please view everything with an open mind. I sincerely wish you the best. Please stay safe. What in the Alabama duckery is this? If it's not a troll then I need some unsee juice to cleanse my eyes and memory from this post. WTF. Spain isn't Alabama duck and report them. Please tell a trusted adult. A teacher. A parent of a friend. Please tell someone. Is it possible that your brother was sexually abused as well? Maybe by your dad. Up. Do not stay with your family. Freaking run. They allowed your brother to do those things to you. And now your dad is escalating it because you willingly forgave your brother. No. You were brainwashed. To. Your brother and father are sick people and your mother isn't much better. Run. Report. Don't look back. You mentioned you are originally from Bulgaria, if I understood correctly. Is your father aware of what can happen to him if he comes back in the Balkans when people find out about it? Tell your mom. Your father is a disgusting moron. And stop trying to tell us that your father loves you in the comments. And your brother is also a mental case I don't understand why you even ask for advice when it's clear that you need to get out and report them to the police. I know you love and respect your parents, but you need to realize at some point that your father is very inappropriate with you and your brother did abuse you. Maybe you could talk to somebody with your mom so they can help you deal with this. A teacher, a doctor, a counselor, please talk to somebody this is not normal and you are not safe. I understand your mother loves you and your brother, but at some point you're going to have to understand that your safety is, is in danger right now. Your dad brought up the thing with your brother in some twisted way to show you that having sex with family members is okay. If he thought you forgot being sexually assaulted he should be glad. Not remind you of it during a conversation when he broaches the subject of you two having sex. He is not wandering out of the blue if you want to have sex theoretically because what father would. Not a normal one I assure you. He wants to know if you want to have sex now. It's going to be forced on you. Your own father plans on raping you. Please understand this. Your physical and mental safety is at great risk. This is not acceptable behavior. I could walk around my dad in my underwear. And he'd be as awkward as anyone. Obviously not look at me and I don't know. Maybe ask me to put some clothes on. But yeah. Your father shouldn't find you provocative in underwear. Firstly gather all your important documents. Like birth certificate and passport etc. Pack an overpass bag too. Then talk to your mom. Tell her that you had this conversation with your dad. That he confirmed that your brother abused you. And then made comments about you that made you uncomfortable. Her response is really important and will tell you if you have an ally in her. But don't expect it. Because she didn't protect you from your brother. It's not definite that she'll protect you from her husband. EB45 has loads of amazing resources, including making a safety plan to leave. Have a look at their profile and get out and keep yourself safe. No good parent would ever find their child provocative. That's just gross. Creepy Gonzales. I don't want to downplay anything here, but to me a possible reading of him saying you showing up in your underwear was provocative was him meaning it looked to him like you were trying to be provocative and it stuck with him because he was worried about it and not necessarily that he was provoked by it but all i have is the stuff you wrote you know what the vibe was when it was all happening but also your whole family knew your brother sexually assaulted you and just let that go away without helping you deal and your dad even if he had the best possible intentions waited this long to actually bring this all up that is mmm not the best in a very big and impactful way. Move out. Start your own life. And get away from this craziness. Go to therapy. And live your best life. My initial reaction was what in the duck. This is sick. But I think there are a lot of considerations to make. Like you already have. 
It is possible that he's spoken to your brother or mum and is trying to decide over something they've said about you being sexually promiscuous and wanting to have incestuous relations with them. Which would be something someone would say if they touched their sister and wanted to get away with it. So he could very well have thought over all of his memories of you in case he missed you behaving oddly towards him and your brother. And he's awful at communicating what he wants to say or ask properly, so the talk came across very badly. Also possible that your father has, has relations with your brother, which would explain why your brother behaved, as if it was casual for you guys to do that. I personally think you should have this discussion with a trusted family member or friend in a safe setting, in case they can tell you something, or learn something from you. But most prominent of all, you need to start finding a way to save and move out as soon as possible. You are old enough and there is nothing to miss past this age. You can look after yourself and there is absolutely no reason you should be near them, especially alone. You don't have to flee the country, but you should not be in a household like that for any reason. Not even finances. Please click subscribe if you enjoyed this video.